It is currently May 17th, 2017. There's some events that happened yesterday that want, makes me want to record. Um, I ran up to my gate and he punched the wall and tried to grab my son out of the backyard. I've never seen so much hate in his eyes. And I think he's going to kill me. I'm scared for my life. Maybe I'm just over exaggerating. But to me, as of yesterday, my fear has never been so relevant. To think of all the emotional abuse I went through without even knowing it, and just thinking he was being an asshole, was actually conditioning me to just bend out his will. And now that I'm gone, he has a little sliver of say over what I do. But because now I have somebody else, it's a whole new game. And he's been playing it up with the rumors. Rumors about me being a crackhead. Rumors about him being a fuckboy and all this shit horrible allegations saying that somebody was molested when they were younger just horrible things that never happened and he's so twisted that he doesn't even know I managed to get some sleep last night after what happened and there's new things I need to do really fast. I need to call my job and tell them I can't be working for a while. Um, I have lots of stuff to do. I went to the police station and they wanted to charge him with assault. But because Ethan looked confused instead of scared, which I said, because he did look confused dangling by his arm over my gate trying to rip him out because of that and also the fact that he didn't hit me even though he punched the wall he punched it out of frustration I guess but he definitely looked like he wanted to hurt me and hurt me bad When he punched the wall, I grabbed his hand and I just gave him that look like you're going to make this worse. You just need to stop. And you see that? Mm -hmm. So... As a parent, I wanted to protect my child. I would have just died for him yesterday. The look on his face killed me. Garden, please. Yeah. Oh, please. The look on his face killed me. Please. I looked at my mom and said I started please. hyperventilating when I got home. Please, I said I'm gonna get murdered. I'm gonna get fucking murdered. And it's true. I really do feel like it's coming to that point where he has no control. It was almost like he was possessed. He's putting every single thing is like pain and suffering for me. I just want him to move on and have a good life. I don't want 
a custody battle. I don't want all this stuff. I just want him to understand that they are my kids too. And that using them is wrong. I have a video of him basically saying, stating that he wants to take the kids full cust like for full time, full custody, so he can take them down to Cambridge to be with his girlfriend and go to college down in Cambridge to be a fire fire person, firefighter and a psychologist. That's a little strange. And these allegations about molestation, if that was the case, then why were you friends with him before? If that was the case, why would you let her, your girlfriend's son around him in the backyard? Why would you let your sons be around him at all? Not because... Not because I'm there or whatever. You would have probably come over if you were smart. If you were smart enough, you would come over and you would stop them from seeing Garrett. All these things are completely false about him and me. We don't do drugs. We just video game. That's it. And when the kids are here, they have a really good time and they connect with him well. I don't leave them alone with him. I'm getting tired of people just saying shit to the point where now my life and my kids' lives are being threatened. Especially with how he grabbed Ethan and wouldn't let go. He had a good, strong grip on him. And I know he's strong. Because I used to fight him all the time. Like, play fight. And I literally couldn't get out of half of the things that he would put on me. His family has a side, I understand that, but now that it's a fact of this is what it's come to, and his pa family and parents are gonna defend him. Don't defend somebody that's fucking wrong, okay? I'm not trying to take his kids away from him. He's trying to take the kids away from me. He's trying to ruin my life for no reason. I left because I couldn't take it anymore. And even then I still tried. to, And then to turn out and find out that he had a girlfriend. I was drunk the one night and I called him and I, I said, I love you. Do you love me back? He, he told me, I don't think so. So that was the end of that. And then shortly after I met Garrett. And he had been talking to Garrett with no problem up until the fact that him and I put our relationship on Facebook and he came up to my door, dropped Ethan off and said, oh, by the way, how's Garrett? And I said, he's doing fine, thank you, bye, or tell him I say hi or something. And I'm like, I will, bye. Because it was funny. But it's not funny anymore when it's coming down to people's lives being ruined over your own lies and your own twisted form of manipulation. And you're talking, you're telling your friends that I called the cops on them when they were on house arrest and then the cops told him that I called the cops can't say shit the cops aren't allowed to do that especially if it's anonymous but I swear on my kids I never called trust me I wanted to but I never did because of all the pain and suffering you've been putting me through no I shouldn't air my dirty laundry out here wherever the fuck I decide to put this. Just know that when my boys get older and if my kids get taken away from me because of some fucked up reason, just 
Just know that they will know what you have done to me. All the lies and all the manipulation. Even when we were together, I was completely transparent in certain things. Towards the end, I didn't care. Towards the end, I couldn't give a shit. But now you want to ruin the one person that I love. And you also want to hurt my kids. My son, Alex, does not want to be around you. He begs me for him to go home. Owen doesn't want to go either. Sometimes. Because he still doesn't understand. But Alex knows full well what's going on. Don't kid yourself. That kid is fucking smart. And he gets that from me. Best guarantee it. But Ethan doesn't know anything. That's why he was confused when you had him by the arm on the ground. You didn't get charged this time. Because I was truthful, which is the way it should be. But next time, I honestly truly feel like you are going to murder me. It's going to get worse and worse and worse until I, I blow. I blow or you blow. Luckily, I never hit him back. All I wanted to do was just keep him out of my gate, out of my backyard from gra grabbing the kids. If he's being like that now, what's going to happen when shit really fucking hits? Hits a fan when he can't keep his shit together. Nobody understands how truly terrified I am besides the people who I love that are around me. And when you're literally sitting there rocking back and forth, feeling sick to your stomach to find out that he can just walk free and not, you know, get away with all this shit he does to me and my kids. It's like, he's going to murder me. He's going to kill me. It's going to be too late. By the time the next police officers are called. I swear. He had such a hateful look in his eyes. I've never seen so much hate in my life. So. Anyways. I guess I'm going to end this vlog here and I, I need to get a hold of people so I will talk to y'all later bye guys